With the help of a new type of artificial intelligence, scientists now have the ability to create medicine which directly modifies the human body in a way that it prevents and even undoes diseases like cancer or other genetic defects. DeepMind and scientists from the University of Washington published two revolutionary articles just last week which were describing deep learning-based ways to address protein folding, which is the final stage in executing and adding to the code in our DNA. The scientific community called this discovery a once-in-a-generation advance, similar to the invention of antibiotics. Welcome to today's episode of AI News. In this episode, I will show you in what way artificial intelligence revolutionized medicine, what this discovery will mean for things like longevity or general health, and finally, when we can actually expect this technology to get into the medicine we get prescribed by doctors. Google-owned artificial intelligence company, DeepMind, stunned the whole field by entering the biggest medical competitions in 2020. The decades-long examination, dubbed Critical Assessment of Protein Structure Prediction Competition, employs standard lab methods for identifying protein structures, which are what your body is made out of, as its baseline to assess the power of its prediction systems. The baseline is difficult to get. It is based on time-consuming experimental procedures that might take months or even years for regular computers or humans to compute. These technologies frequently freeze a protein and use X-rays to map its internal structure down to the atomic level. Many proteins cannot be handled in this manner without losing their original structure, but it is the best approach we have at the moment. The underlying algorithm is then judged by comparing predictions to this gold standard. Proteins are life's minions. They shape our bodies, fuel our metabolism, and are the focus of the majority of today's medicine. They begin as a simple ribbon, translated from DNA, and then fold into complex three-dimensional structures. Many protein units combine into large, moving complexes that change their shape based on their functional demands at the time, similar to transformers. Misfolded proteins may be extremely harmful, causing everything from sickle cell anemia to cancer and Alzheimer's disease. For the past 50 years, one of biology's biggest problems has been figuring out how a basic one-dimensional ribbon-like structure transforms into three-dimensional structures with canyons, hills, valleys, and caverns. It's as if an extraterrestrial were scanning the coordinates of hundreds of sites on a Grand Canyon map on a notepad and rebuilding it into a 3D hologram of the actual thing, without ever seeing it or knowing what it should look like. It is not only an intellectual activity. The completion of the human genome cleared the door for gene therapy, CAR-T cancer treatments, and the well-known CRISPR gene editing tool. Deciphering protein folding is bound to open up a whole new world of biology that we haven't been able to study or influence before. The rapid creation of vaccinations relies on scientists deciphering the virus's many protein targets, including the spike proteins that vaccines target. Many proteins that cause cancer have been unaffected by medicines because their structures are difficult to determine. Scientists may use these new AI technologies to answer long-standing medical problems while also preparing to tackle new ones. It lays the groundwork for a deeper knowledge of our biology, the development of novel treatments, and perhaps the inspiration for synthetic biology in the future. What the Deep Mind team has accomplished is incredible, and it will transform the course of structural biology and protein research in the future. Deep Mind surprised everyone with its AI last year, blowing other competitors out of the water. They were a tease at the time, sharing nothing about their very fascinating approach that accurately matched testing results. However, Dr. Beck of the University of Washington was motivated by the 30-minute lecture to design her own technique. Beck utilized a similar deep learning approach, which was described in an article published this week in Science. Rose TTA Fold analyzes three levels of patterns at the same time. The first examines a protein's amino acid building components and compares them to all other sequences in a protein database. The technique then investigates how the amino acids of one protein interact with those of another inside the same protein, for example, by measuring the distance between two distant building blocks. It's like comparing the distance between your hands and feet while you're completely stretched out versus in a backbend when you fold into a yoga posture. Finally, the third track examines the 3D coordinates of each atom that makes up a protein building block to construct the final 3D structure, similar to mapping the studs on a Lego block. 
The network then loops back and forth between these tracks, allowing one output to update another. The final results were comparable to those of DeepMind's Alpha Fold 2 tool, which matched the gold standard of experimentally produced structures. Although Rose TTA Fold was not as precise as Alpha Fold 2, it appeared to take considerably less time and effort. The program was able to solve the structure of a small protein in around 10 minutes using a gaming computer. Rose TTA Fold was also able to address the protein assemble problem in that it could predict the structure of proteins made up of many units based just on the amino acid sequence. They were able to anticipate how the shape of an immunological molecule latches onto its target, for example. Many biological processes rely on these protein handshakes. The ability to anticipate them using an algorithm opens the door to altering previously inaccessible biological processes such as the immune system, strokes, cancer or brain functionality. Rose TTA Fold has been downloaded hundreds of times since its public release in July, allowing other academics to address their perplexing protein sequence issues, possibly saving years of labor while jointly refining the algorithm. When there is a breakthrough like this, two years later, everyone is doing the same thing, if not better. Meanwhile, DeepMind has released the Alpha Fold 2 algorithm that inspired Beck. The DeepMind team explained its approach to the 50-year puzzle in a new study published in Nature. The challenge was to combine various sources of information, the development of a protein as well as its physical and geometric constraints, in order to create a two-step system that maps out a given protein with astonishing precision. DeepMind's founder and CEO, who first revealed the code during the CASP meeting, is ready to share it with the rest of the world. They committed to disclose their methodologies and give broad, open access to the scientific community. Last week, they took the first step toward fulfilling that pledge by providing AlphaFold's open source code and disclosing the system's complete methodology. With these two investigations, we are entering a new realm of anticipating, and then engineering or altering, the basic components of life. This will have an impact on medicine. It will alter research. It will alter biotechnology. It will alter everything. Alpha Fold may also be used to consistently generate novel proteins with previously unknown functionalities that can be utilized as therapeutic building blocks. It has the potential to give fresh insights into the problem of protein misfolding, which is a key contributor to neurodegenerative disorders. Finally, DeepMind's latest wonder kit, like ATP synthase, can be utilized to create protein-based nanomachines. Previous attempts included techniques such as DNA origami, but protein folding technology may one day build structures that interact with our cells in previously unimaginable ways. The leading scientists in the field of longevity are also expecting many more breakthroughs in their field to happen due to being able to understand how every small process in the body actually works. AlphaFold 2 will undoubtedly aid in the advancement of biology. As previously stated, it may provide folded structure predictions, which can subsequently be utilized to solve experimental structures using crystallography, and probably other techniques. As a result, in certain situations, this will assist the science of structure determination go more quickly. However, contrary to certain assertions, we are not yet at the position where this AI technology may be utilized for drug development. AlphaFold 2 predicts structures with an average accuracy of 0.16 nanometers, while we require an average structure prediction accuracy of 0.03 nanometers to obtain reliable insights into protein chemistry or drug design. The AlphaFold results are impressive not just because, on average, they are much better than other methods, but because the improvement is so great in just the last two years that it suggests much more is still possible within the next few iterations of the AlphaFold artificial intelligence. I'm really excited to see what other new avenues of research this will enable for the community. For those of us who are excited about new computational and machine learning approaches in science, systems like AlphaFold illustrate the incredible promise of AI as a tool to help fundamental discoveries. Proteins were put out 50 years ago as a task well beyond science's reach at the time, and many parts of our cosmos remain unknown. The AlphaFold development gives me even more confidence that AI will become one of humanity's most valuable instruments for broadening the boundaries of scientific knowledge, and I'm looking forward to the many years of hard effort and discovery that lie ahead. Uh, well, I think it's, it's feasible that somebody could make it to 150. Remember, people born today will, even if we don't succeed, will still see the year, what, 2120. 
that's a long way in the future. A lot is going to happen in those years. You know, what were we doing 100 years ago? We were learning how to fly and you know, we didn't even have antibiotics. So remember that, that it's not today's technology that future or people living today will have. They'll have uh, things that we can't even dream of. So what is your opinion on the statement that AlphaFold 2 was one of the biggest ever scientific breakthroughs and will lead us to many new kinds of medicines and cures of diseases such as cancer? Do you believe the hype, or are you pretty skeptical of this pretty hyped up discovery made by Google's still unprofitable company? Please tell us your opinion in the comment section below. I would love to hear what you have to say about it. Thank you for watching AI News. We consistently report on the newest technologies that are shaping the future of our world. We'd appreciate you subscribing and watching our other videos. See you around and take care.